Almond EST truck is equipped with pneumatic adjustment function on the steering column for convenience. Press unlock button to unlock steering column. You may easily adjust the height and tilt of the multifunction steering wheel. After adjustment of steering wheel, press the lock button to lock steering column. Attention! Make sure that the vehicle is stopped steadily when adjusting steering wheel. Tighten the parking brake. It is forbidden to adjust steering wheel during driving. When the vehicle goes down a long slope, auxiliary braking system can be used. Omen EST vehicles are all provided with engine brake. Hydraulic retarder is optional. When using engine brake, make sure that there is no fault prompt about pressing and braking of engine on LCD. Choose the braking gear of engine according to the slope. When the slope is gentle, engage gear 1. When the slope is steep, engage gear 2. When using engine brake, do not let the engine over speed. Engine brake release. When any of the following situations occurs, the engine brake will be released. 1. Switch off engine brake. 2. Step on the accelerator. 3. Step on clutch. 4. Enable cruise function. 5. Engine speed is lower than 900 revolutions per minute. For vehicle with retarder, its engine brake intelligently links with retarder. Auxiliary brake switch has 5 gears. The braking power increases in sequence from gear 1 to gear 4. It may satisfy different using requirements. Gear B is consistent speed gear. It may control the vehicle to go down slope at constant speed. You are recommended to use constant speed gear preferentially. Enter into down slope section. For vehicles of manual gearbox, an appropriate gearbox position should be selected according to the road gradient to control the vehicle speed to the expected controllable vehicle speed and the engine speed should be controlled above 1500 revolutions per minute and then release the throttle push the auxiliary braking switch to gear B start to go down slope at constant speed when you want to lower the down slope cruise speed Shift the auxiliary braking handle to gear 4 step by step for slowing down. Shift the auxiliary braking handle to gear B when vehicle reaches estimated speed. Cruise down slope. When you want to speed up during down slope cruise, it is required to switch off auxiliary brake. After speeding up, Restart constant speed gear. When vehicle is going down slope at constant speed, if the slope is too big, the retarder works at full power. The vehicle speed still may be increased. Then, service brake shall be used to control vehicle speed to avoid overspeed of engine. Endanger the safety of driving. When going down long slope with retarder, attention shall always be paid to change of water temperature. When water temperature exceeds 103 degrees Celsius fast or 95 degrees Celsius ZF, the system will automatically limit the output of braking power of retarder. At this time, service brake needs to be used to lower vehicle speed. When you drive normally, in case of emergency, emergency brake is required. Shift the retarder to gear 4. Match with service brake. Better braking efficiency can be acquired. Condition for quit of retarder. The retarder will quit work in case of any one of the following cases. 1. 
Switch off retarder. Two. Step on accelerator. Three. ABS anti-lock function activated. Four. Overheating protection. Fast retarder. Water temperature is more than 107 degrees Celsius. Oil temperature is more than 160 degrees Celsius. ZF retarder. Water temperature is more than 115 degrees Celsius. Oil temperature is more than 165 degrees Celsius. Attention! 1. The engine should be prevented from overspeeding when the vehicle is going downslope. The optimal engine speed is 1,500 revolutions per minute to 2,100 revolutions per minute. 2. The best vehicle speed with a retarder is 40 to 80 kilometers per hour, and the retarder almost does not work when it is lower than 20 kilometers per hour. 3. When going down long slope with a retarder, the speed should not exceed 60 kilometers per hour. 4. In case that the auxiliary brake indicator light in the combination meter is on, it indicates that the retarder is working. If the auxiliary brake fault light on the LCD screen is on, it indicates that the retarder is hot or malfunctioning. Please reduce gear or temporarily turn off the retarder and control the vehicle speed with service brake. 5. In case of rainy and snowy weather and when the road is slippery, retarder shall be used with caution to prevent wheel slipping. Endangering driving safety. To make the vehicle suitable for every driver of different body sizes. Driver's chair in Almond EST truck can be adjusted in different directions. Use the knob on the back of the chair. You can adjust the height of lumbar support. Move the backrest adjustment handle on the left side of the seat. You may adjust the angle of backrest freely. Pull the hand clasp in front of the seat. You may adjust the elevation of chair. Pull up or press the seat height adjustment handle. You can adjust the height of chair. If you want to adjust the front and back distance of chair, please pull the handle in front of chair, and then the chair may move on sideway. If EST is equipped with luxury chair, except for above adjustment functions, it is also provided with memory function and damping adjustment function. Press the lower part of the quick deflation button. The chair will quickly drop to the lowest position, which is convenient for the driver to get off the vehicle. When you get on the vehicle again, press the upper part of the quick deflation button. The chair will be automatically adjusted to the height before deflation. Damping adjustment. Change the soft and hard degree of chair so that it may adapt to drivers of different body weight. Fuel consumption is always your concern. Your driving habits are closely related to fuel consumption. Now, let's come to know some fuel saving skills together. 1. Driving at an economic speed. Selecting the correct gear. Guarantee that the engine speed is within an economic range. 1,100 to 1,200 revolutions per minute on a flat road. 1,200 to 1,400 revolutions per minute on hilly mountain road. By ensuring sufficient power, try to drive at higher gear. For automatic vehicles, except for extremely poor road conditions, 
Choose automatic mode as much as possible. It is more economical. Two, avoid long time idling of engine. The fuel consumption when the engine is idling is about 1.5 to 2 liters per hour. The following conditions: when waiting for a long time, turn off the engine. Waiting for a long time when loading and unloading. When there is traffic jam. When waiting at railway crossings. Three, drive smoothly to avoid unnecessary acceleration, braking, and parking. When you need to slow down or stop, slow down in advance and try to avoid sudden braking. Release the accelerator pedal when there is still 300 meters away from the planned stop point. If the trailer wants to drive out of the high-speed intersection, release the accelerator pedal 800 meters in advance. Try to reduce unnecessary stop. For example, passing a traffic light intersection, if possible, you can control the vehicle to pass through the intersection without stopping. Load. Do not drive at high speed, but low gear. When the accelerator is stepped to the bottom and the engine speed is lower than 1,000 revolutions per minute, reduce gear in time to control the engine load at 70 to 90 percent. When decelerating, using auxiliary brakes as much as possible and use foot brakes sparingly. The engine does not spray fuel during auxiliary braking, which is more economic. Keep a safe vehicle distance. Guarantee safety and reduce the times of emergency brake. Four, selection of driving route. When driving, choose a broad and flat route firstly. If must pass a mountain road, choose a route with steep slope up and gentle slope down. In the case of similar mileage, the auxiliary braking system can be fully utilized when going down a gentle slope, which is fuel saving and safe. Five, reducing driving resistance. Do not drive with fairing off. Cargo box top needs to be strapped tightly. Keep the normal pressure of tires. When tire pressure is one bar lower than the specified value, fuel consumption will be increased by five percent. Six. Keep a stable vehicle speed. Frequent changes in vehicle speed will increase fuel consumption. For example. Accelerating from 40 kilometers per hour to 50 kilometers per hour will consume about 0.2 liters of fuel. Try to keep the vehicle speed as stable as possible, as long as the road conditions allow. Cruising should be adopted. When the vehicle goes down a long slope, auxiliary brake constant speed gear shall be activated. Keep a stable vehicle speed when going down slope. When you need to park and wait for a long time, no need to start engine. You may use the independent heat source to warm the cab. If your vehicle is equipped with water heating type independent heat source, when warming in cab. You need to place the ignition lock at ACC or on gear. Set the air conditioner at manual mode. Set the target temperature above 26 degrees Celsius. Press down the water heating pipe independent heat source on off key. The water heating type independent heat source work indicator light will be on. The heater starts to work. After the water temperature rises, engage the air conditioner fan to gear one to warm the cab. When the ambient temperature is below minus twenty degrees Celsius, 
You may also use water heating type independent heat source to preheat the engine. When ignition switch is at ACC or on gear. Air conditioner is at manual mode. And when target temperature is set above 26 degrees Celsius. Press the water heating type independent heat source switch. After the water temperature meets requirements, then you can start the engine. Reset the independent heat source switch. Close the independent heat source. When using water heating pipe independent heat source, attention will be paid to 1. When opening the independent heat source for the first time, the indicator light will flash for errors. Repeatedly start for three times to complete oil pumping. 2. It is forbidden to use water heating type independent heat source when ambient temperature is over 26 degrees Celsius. 3. It is not allowed to use independent heat source in oil station or where there are large quantity of inflammable and explosive articles or closed space. 4. Do close the independent heat source when turning over the cap. 5. Please do not use water heating type independent heat source for continuous 2 hours to avoid electricity losing of battery. If your vehicle is provided with a heating type independent heat source, when ignition switch of vehicle is at ACC or on gear, and air conditioner is not at full automatic state, compressor of air conditioner is off, wind volume of air conditioner is at gear 0 or 1, the air heating type independent heat source can be opened. To warm the cab, air heating type independent heat source, it is required to adjust temperature. Rotate the temperature adjustment knob clockwise. Temperature range 10 to 18 degrees Celsius. When air heating type independent heat source is working, work indicator light and middle of knob switch will be on. Rotate the knob to gear off. Air heating type independent heat source is closed. The work indicator light will be off. When using air heating type independent heat source, attention shall be paid to 1. When opening the independent heat source for the first time, the indicator light will flash for errors. Repeatedly start for three times to complete oil pumping. 2. It is not allowed to use independent heat source in oil station or where there are large quantity of inflammable and explosive articles or closed space. 3. Do close the independent heat source when turning over the cab. 4. Please do not use water heating type independent heat source for continuous 2 hours to avoid electricity losing of battery. Press the component button located on the left side of the multifunction steering wheel. You may control the meter display. Press shift button in the main interface menu. The menu interface can be switched up and down. A total of 7 groups of main interfaces. Engine oil meter and water temperature meter interface. Voltage and Euro Interface Fuel Consumption Mileage Information Interface Vehicle Life Cycle Data Interface Diagnosis Interface Activation Time Interface Set Interface Choose Enter Interface Enter the interface you want to check and then press the switch button again to pull up or pull down the menu. Check the vehicle information you want to see.
In addition, the left button under combination instrument is only for small mileage reset by long press. Button at the right side is for switch of barometer. Being familiar with vehicle doors and windows is the first step necessary to drive a vehicle. You may use the remote control function of multifunction key to open and close the central lock of door. You may also press the key blade eject button to eject the mechanical key. Use the mechanical key to open and unlock the door. You may use multifunction key to remote control window. Press the lock key on key for 2.5 seconds. The window glass rises automatically. Press the unlock key on key for 2.5 seconds. The window drops automatically. During driving on a bad road, when tires fall in pit, you may drive out with differential lock. Differential lock may connect differential carrier with semi-axis. Therefore, differential lock loses the differential function. Avoid skid due to driving torque losing of single driving wheel. When vehicle is parked, or the vehicle speed is less than 5 km per hour, differential lock function can be used. Differential lock includes in the wheel differential lock and differential lock between shafts. When using differential lock, depress the clutch pedal after releasing the accelerator. Press down the inter-wheel differential lock switch. The corresponding indicator light will be on. Then, it means the differential lock is being locked. To release the differential lock, Depress the clutch pedal after releasing the accelerator. Press the switch of differential lock to home position. The corresponding indicator light will be off. Then, the differential lock will be released. Attention! It is forbidden to turn the steering wheel when using differential lock. After driving out of bad road, release the differential lock in time. Driving on expressway for a long time, it will make driver feel tired. Use the cruise function of Alman EST correctly. You may freedom your feet. When a vehicle speed is over 48 km per hour, press the cruise master control switch at the right side of steering wheel. Then the cruise function can be turned on. At this time, press the Cruise Plus button to enter the cruise state at the last cruise speed. Press the Cruise Minus button to set the current vehicle speed to the cruise speed. Under Cruise State, you may adjust the cruise speed through Cruise Plus Minus button. Cruising speed up to 84 km per hour. When you want to overtake, just step on accelerator pedal. Release the accelerator pedal. The vehicle will continue to cruise at a speed before acceleration. In case of emergencies, you can use the cruise control off button. Step on braking pedal or clutch pedal. Cancel cruise state. It should be noted that in hilly areas, heavy traffic, curved roads and heavy fog, rain and snow, and other bad weather, the cruise function is prohibited. Almond EST truck has various advanced and convenient systems and functions. Now let's see its operation keys together. Switch block on windshield. It includes cap lighting lamp, door switch, 
driver's reading light, night light switch, sunroof switch, under instrument desk. You can find a rear light switch, headlight adjustment switch, and the right back side of driver with 220 volt power socket. It is emergency help switch by the instrument desk. Strong cold switch. The rear view mirror heating switch. Interwheel differential lock switch. Intershaft differential lock switch. Electrical horn switch. Danger warning switch. The rear fog light switch. Cruise master control switch. Cruise plus button. Cruise plus button. Electrical lifting power switch. Air conditioner system switch group. Oil saving switch. It is suggested to use economic gear E when the vehicle has no load. It is recommended to choose standard gear B when the vehicle is light loaded. It is recommended to choose power gear P when the vehicle is standard loaded. On the left door, right door electrical window locking switch. Right door electrical window switch. Left door electrical window switch. Central lock switch. Electrical rear view mirror switch. On right door, there is right door electrical window switch. Central lock switch. And left side of steering column. It is left handle of combination switch. Push handle forward. Turn on right steering light. Pull back to turn off. Pull back handle. Turn on left steering light. Pull back to turn off. Transfer the vehicle lamp to small lamp position. Turn on small lamp. Turn the vehicle lamp switch to deep headlight position. Turn on deep headlight. When deep headlight is on, push down handle. Turn on high beam. Push up handle. Turn on passing lights. Turn the front fog lamp switch to on gear. Turn the front fog lamp. Turn back to off gear. Turn off front fog lamp. Press the horn switch and end of handle. Horn sounds. The right handle of combination switch is at right side of steering column. Including auxiliary brake switch. Wiper switch. Wiper interval time adjustment switch. Press down the washer button at end of handle. Turn on the front windshield washing function. Rotate the wiper switch. Turn the wiper switch to interval gear. Turn on interval wiping mode. Turn to low speed gear to turn on low speed wiping mode. Turn to high speed gear to turn on high speed wiping mode. When window wiper switch is at INT position, it is available to rotate wiper interval time adjustment switch. To adjust the interval time of wiper, there are five gears for wiper interval time adjustment switch. Shorter and shorter interval time from top to bottom. Keys on control panel of air conditioner. Temperature increase key, temperature decrease key, 
Air volume decrease key. Air volume increase key. Wind mode key. Defrost key. Auto mode key. Cold air key. Internal external circulation key. Off key. Press auto key. The system enters auto mode. You may change the set temperature as needed. During auto mode, the system set the fan speed automatically according to the difference between set temperature and indoor temperature and control the work of compressor as needed. It is available to manually adjust the wind mode, fan speed as well as internal and external circulation under auto mode. Press the OFF key. Turn off the air conditioner. Press the wind volume plus minus key to turn on the manual mode of air conditioner. Press the cold air key. Turn on compressor of air conditioner. Preset temperature 18 degrees centigrade. Wind mode. Fan speed. Manually adjust internal and external circulation as needed. Press the OFF key. Turn off air conditioner. Press the wind volume plus or wind volume minus key to open the manual mode of air conditioner. Preset a temperature above 26 degrees Celsius. Wind mode, fan speed. Manually adjust internal and external circulation as needed. Press the OFF key. Turn off the air conditioner. Press the defrost key. Enter defrost mode. Outdoor temperature above 7 degrees Celsius. System turns on compressor of air conditioner. Start external circulation. Outdoor temperature below 7 degrees Celsius. The system turns off compressor of air conditioner. Start internal circulation. Press the defrost key again. Create defrost mode. 